end of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3, the campers managed to successfully escape Isla Nublar on the yacht that they had found. And, however, at the end of it, the kids do not realize that there is a secret creature hidden inside the boat before they leave. Hello everybody and welcome to another Camp Cretaceous Season 4 video, and for today's, we're going to be discussing the mysterious creature that is in the boat at the end of Camp Cretaceous Season 3. Since we haven't really discussed that on the channel so far, as we've been a little busy for a while, so I thought we'd get into something very big. However, we're not going to be talking about what it is or what role it might have. We're going to be talking about a theory that I actually have, which is related to it. Let's just go over what creatures it could be first quickly. Many people, myself included, are under the impression it could be something like a Scorpius Rex, aka E750, or a Baryonyx. Now, the reason why this is because it's very likely for both of those, and especially Scorpius Rex, but what I want to talk about is not what what could happen to the creature like on the boat, could it like hurt the kids, cause them to go back to Nublar, no. What I want to discuss is whether or not the kids will actually befriend the creature in the boat. The reason why I want to discuss this is actually because of a previous video we discussed, which is regarding the Mosasaurs. Now, in that video, I discussed w what role the Mosasaurs could have, how it could actually cause the kids to be sent to Isla Sorna or back to Nublar, because, well, I don't think they'd feel safe um, cruising all the way to Costa Rica with that out. However, in that video, I mentioned that one of the reasons the kids could actually be sent back to one of the islands is because of the mysterious creature attacking the boat and them being sent somewhere else instead of Costa Rica. And that was if the Mosasaurs didn't appear. However, I've decided to change that part of the theory. And actually, I think the kids may actually befriend the creature that is in the boat. The reason why is because of the very high likelihood of the creature being an infant or a young juvenile. This is very likely considering how little space there is in there, and if it was a big, giant-sized dinosaur like a full-grown Scorpius Rex, it would most likely be able to easily break out of there. However, if it's small and young, I think it would be unable to, and then it would make noise and the kids would actually discover it being small. Now, why the kids might actually be able to befriend it? You may be thinking, how would they be able to befriend a Scorpius Rex, the thing that nearly killed one of them, and also nearly destroyed Isla Nublar with just two of them? Well, I think the reason why is because of a scene in Jurassic Park where John Hammond, the owner of um, both islands and creator of Jurassic Park, actually stated that all creatures would imprint on the first creature they came in contact with. Which, what I think is actually likely, is that maybe they f see this thing ha hatch, and then what happens is they be they take care of it. And unlike John Hammond, where he would just be there for the release of um, the dinosaur, they would actually care and feed for it, and then maybe when they're on Isla Sorna or Isla Nublar, most likely Isla Sorna, this animal could grow up quickly and then actually help protect them. Because here's the thing, if they go to Isla Sorna, they're gonna need some help in order to deal with dinosaurs like the Spinosaurus or the T-Rex family. They can't do that on, the, on their own, and they don't have Bumpy, which most likely if they go to Nublar then they'll be return to Bumpy as well. But if they were to go to Isla Sorna, it's very likely that this creature would actually be able to protect them. As it, if it is a Scorpius Rex, it would be able to take on things like the Spinosaurus. And I think this would happen because of how much the Scorpius Rex has been built up. Like, we know that Manticore was after it, and while we haven't really seen Manticore, we do know it was actually chasing um, one of the Scorpius Rex on Nublar with a drone, unsuccessfully. But it is very likely that they wouldn't want to stop trying to get this prize if just because of kids. They would probably go to Isla Sorna and actually hunt down the Scorpius Rex. And I think that would be the main plot of Sorna on being Sorna. 
in Sorna, because the kids would have to defend the Scorpius Rex as well as themselves from Manticore, who they know are dangerous. But what do you guys think? Do you think that the kids are actually going to defend the Scorpius Rex and become friends with it? Because it's very, it's very likely, guys. I think that if it is a young one, then I think that it will need some protection because, well, it's, it's young. It has no way of defending itself straight away. And I think the kids would actually need protection themselves when it does grow up. But I don't know. I think this is a possibility. Do you think that the Scorpius Rex or whatever other creature is on the boat could actually befriend the kids? on their journey to Isla Sorna, because it's very likely we're going to Isla Sorna. If they go to Nubar, then it's mostly on, then it's probably not gonna happen. But if they were to go to Sorna, I feel like this new creature would probably defend them as being the new mascot of the franchise, since they can't bring Bumpy, obviously. She's not gonna teleport to Sorna at a call. But anyway, guys, leave in the comments whether or not you think the creature in the boat will actually defend, become friends with the kids, or do you think it's just going to be another Scorpius Rex on the rampage that they have to deal with? Leave it in the comments. But if you've enjoyed this video, I appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we're already at 500 subscribers almost, guys, and that's ha and we're halfway to a thousand. I hope we can reach that goal of a thousand before the one year anniversary of the channel. Hopefully we can do it. But be safe and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.